For most Americans, the memories of three commercial planes controlled by hijackers smashing into New York's Wall Street Center and the Pentagon still haunt them. Right after the horrific attacks in 2001, the US launched the war on terror and invaded Afghanistan. Two years later, the US, with allies including the United Kingdom and Australia, launched an attack on Iraq while still bogged down in Afghanistan. The then US President George W. Bush said the mission was to disarm Iraq of weapons of mass destruction, to end Saddam Hussein's support for terrorism, and to free the Iraqi people. Three years after 9-1-1, Al-Qaeda claimed the responsibility for the attack. The US managed to capture and kill its top two most wanted people, Saddam Hussein in 2006 and Osama bin Laden in 2011. However, things didn't start to look up for global security. Starting from 2012, another terrorist group known as ISIL rose to power. It has been increasingly destructive over the past five years, not only in the US, but many other parts of the world. What's worse, records show that hate crimes against Muslims and South Asian residents of the US have been rising ever since. Li Jianghua, CGTM.